everyone, welcome back to my Sichuan kitchen. Today we are going to make the highly requested chili oil. Chili oil is essential for any Sichuan kitchen. It is great for noodles, cold dishes, and dipping sauces. Today I will show you this easy and no fail recipe that you can make your own chili oil from your home kitchen. Let's get started. To make chili oil, you will need ground chili pepper, roasted sesame, roasted peanut, and Sichuan peppercorn. The ground chili can be a combination of two kinds of chilies for different texture and taste, but it is totally optional. The sesame and peanuts needs to be roasted ahead of time. For the oil, we will need a few kinds of spices. These are star anise, bay leaf, dried sand ginger, also called sha jiang or san nai in Chinese, fennel, dried cloves, black cardamom, and cinnamon. We also need a few aromatic fresh ingredients to make the oil fragrant. These are purple onion, celery, garlic, and ginger. First, let's prepare the dry ingredients. Crush the peanuts into finer pieces. Add it to the ground peppers and then add roasted sesame. Add Sichuan peppercorn. Mix all the ingredients well. Now the mixture is ready to be added to a container. I'm using three mason jars today. You can use any heat resistant container as well. Now let's prepare the oil. Turn on the stove for low heat. Pour two cups of oil into a pot. When the oil gets hot, add in the fresh ingredients. Slowly fry them. Make sure to stay on low heat so the oil doesn't overheat. This process will take about 30 to 40 minutes, so let's be patient. When you notice the veggies are turning brown and dehydrated, remove them with a strainer. Next step, we will fry the spices. The fennels are super tiny, so we will use a tea brewing device for them. Put all the spices in the oil, continue frying for about 10 minutes. Then remove all the spices from the oil. Now the oil will be very hot. Make sure no smoke is coming out. If so, that means the oil is too hot and we need it to be cooler. The ideal temperature would be just before it smokes. Mine was at about 385 Fahrenheit and I'm using canola oil. Turn off the heat and use a large soup spoon to add oil to the chili peppers. The pepper will sizzle each time after adding oil. Watch out if the pepper darkens, that means the oil is too hot and it's burning the peppers. The peppers are like dancing in the mason jar. Then add a half tablespoon of vinegar. The vinegar will make the chili oil boil again evaporating water and bring out all the good fragrances from the ingredients. Please note that this process will make the oil grow in volume and make sure you have a large container so oil doesn't overflow. Here it is, we did it! Freshly made chili oil. It's very fragrant and you can add it to noodles, dipping sauce, and anything you want to spice it up. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. Leave me a comment if you have any question about making chili oil. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you next time.